Hi there, in this video we're going to be constructing uh, both a midpoint and a perpendicular bisector. The method for midpoint is the same as a method for a perpendicular bisector, it can be. Um, so if you get a question asking you to find the midpoint of two points or draw a perpendicular line that goes between the two points, then this is how you would do it. Um, another way of putting it is that if you want to find all the points that are the same distance away from A and B, then that would be a perpendicular bisector. So let's see how it's done. Um, for this one, I'm going to need, first of all, a pair of compasses. And what I'm going to do is going to put the point in A and extend it so it's at least more than halfway between A and B. And I'm going to put in an arc up the top here. So put in an arc from A there. If I rotate it around without changing the size, put one at this bit here. Remember, we're trying to find the midpoint somewhere around here, so hopefully these will cross over when I do this. So I'm going to put, take my protractor and stick it in B. Have not changed the size of it, and it's important that you get used to being able to move it around without changing those sides. I don't know why that's come up, and I don't know why it won't go away. There we go, sorry about that. I'm going to draw my arc there, and I rotate it around, and I draw my arc there. You can see they've both crossed over. And what that's done is that's created basically two isosceles triangles. If you think back, if you've been watching any of the previous videos we've been making on constructions. And what that means is that if I join those two points up, I end up with a line that is always the same distance from A and B, whichever point you are along the line. And it also means that I've found the midpoint between A and B. So if I just also draw in a line joining those up, that point there is the midpoint. And the line is the perpendicular bisector. Best of luck giving it a go yourselves. So just draw any two points, A and B, and see if you can repeat the process. Feel free to use the video as much as you need it. Best of luck.